Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with Boost libraries. Our viewer, Juan Dent, is running Windows 10 with Visual Studio 2017 Community Edition and is facing a puzzling issue. He wants to build Boost 1.64 in 64 bits, but despite his efforts, the libraries are being compiled in 32 bits instead. Let's dive into the details of his situation and explore what might be going wrong. Welcome back to another technical video. Today I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. To build Boost 1.64 in 64 bits using Visual Studio 2017, we need to ensure that the correct settings are applied. First, let's check the command you are using. The command you provided looks correct, but there are a few additional flags we need to include to ensure a 64-bit build. Specifically, we should specify the tool set and the architecture. Now let's combine these flags into your command. This will help ensure that Boost is built correctly for 64-bit architecture. After running this command, check the output directory to confirm that the libraries are built in 64 bits. If you still encounter issues, verify your Visual Studio installation and ensure that the 64-bit tools are installed. If everything is set up correctly, you should now be able to compile Boost 1.64 libraries in 64 bits without any issues. Happy coding! Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To build Boost 1.64 in 64 bits, start by opening the x64 native tools command prompt for Visual Studio 2017. Next, modify the projectconfig.jam file to specify the correct compiler path for 64-bit. Finally, run the build command using either b2 or bjam with the appropriate options for 64-bit compilation. Make sure to check that 64-bit is confirmed at the start of the compilation. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To build Boost 1.64 in 64 bits, specify the architecture as IA64. Use the B2 command with the appropriate options. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To build Boost 1.64 in 64 bits, navigate to each Boost version directory and run a simple command. This will save you time and create a Boost directory with all library combinations, including x64. Don't forget to enable directory compression for better storage efficiency.
And that's it guys. I hope the video helped find the resolution that you're looking for and you got the answer and worked your way through. If it did, please hit subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.